Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in this video. I don't know how quick it, it's gonna be, but um, I want to replace my uh, shifter knob and I want to replace my, um, you know, uh, the console, the wooden trim right here. Uh, so let's get started uh, and hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for your support and uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, I got a shifter, a wooden shifter. I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna be replacing it with this one. As you can see, this one's really worn out and not looking nice. I don't know what people did and how they treated it. It's so weird. I don't know if they were like scratching their nails on it or something, but it looks really horrible. And then I'll be replacing this shifter with this one. This is a lot better. Uh, and it's actually um, on the backside, as you, as you can see, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of like plastic clips that are stapled. To this wooden trim from the factory and this one is actually as you can see it's already lifted off i just did that because as you can see this window switch i can low i can move it you know down but i cannot move it up because it goes it falls through so it's pretty pretty bad and also i'm going to be replacing this uh hazard switch because it's getting worn out so i'm going to be refreshing everything here so anyways uh let's get started to it and uh let's do this guys all right guys make sure your parking brake is working and it's engaged and i have to turn the key because i need to move this shifter right here to this position and then you can turn the key off all right now since we have it in this position uh it gives us a lot more space so this part just comes out okay it's just a, a plastic trim and then you would just literally, um, since if this is down, you would just grab some like carefully, like uh, a few plastic tools, and then you would just pry this up carefully and it would come up. Now it's gonna be a challenge because you'll have to disconnect all the connectors from underneath. So I'll have to do that. And then, uh, you know, once this thing is out, I'll swap all the switches to this new uh, used uh, wooden trim. So when you're disconnecting these switches, you have to be really careful. Um, don't just rip these connectors out because you're gonna probably break these plastics right here under this shifter. They're, they're, this uh, a lot of plastic pieces are attached to this uh, wooden trim. So the way you uh, remove it is you press these two tabs in on both sides and then you, uh, with the other hand, you're holding this from dropping down and then you're disconnecting the connector so it's gonna be hard for me to show you but just be very careful and gentle with it okay once you disconnect everything just pull this off this is how it looks there's a bunch of switches a bunch of plastics and in here so now I'm gonna be swapping all the switches over to the other panel All right, guys, I'm finally done uh, replacing all the switches and installing them onto this one. And I installed brand new hazard switch as well. The only thing that sucks is that uh, you actually really have to take your time doing this because otherwise you're going to start breaking things uh, on the back side. Um, each switch has two clips, one and two. And then if you're not careful, they will break. So you have to take, you, you know, as much time as needed to, you know, not break uh, stuff like this. So I'm super happy about this. Everything is back together right now. I'm going to start installing my shifter. Now what you need to do is you need to release this uh, shifter face right here. So the way to do it is there's a clip right here. So you, you can grab carefully a pick. Be very careful. And then from the underside, you have to kind of lift it towards the left. And then it's gonna pop free, okay? And then the same thing on this side. It's literally like a clip. You go and you push it towards the, for the front and it's gonna pop. And then this last clip is right here. What you need to do is you need to go in there and you need to push it forward. You're not pulling it, you're just pushing it forward. And uh, that way, this will come free. As you can 
see it's separated right there, so just have to carefully wiggle it off. There you go, just like that. There's a lot of trash in there. It's a good idea to clean it all up and also lubricate everything. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna loosen this nut right here and that will loosen my shifter. The size is 15 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up. So it might be rusty on some of them. So we might have to spray some PB Blaster. Once you loosen that nut, you're gonna go ahead and carefully start removing this like that. Very carefully. It's also a good idea to replace this boot, but I don't have one today. It's still in good shape, I just have to clean it really well. I don't know that, literally, yeah. Let's go ahead and spin it off. And there she goes. Be careful, there's a lot of junk over here. Put that to the side. Now you can see you can clean all this garbage off and I'll show you how to lubricate those bushings in the shifter later. It's also a good idea to replace this bulb, but on mine, it's working. So I'm not really gonna do too much and I don't have this bulb with me today, I believe. I'll see if I have one, I'll replace it. If not, then that's fine. I'll just leave it the way it is. But it's a good idea to just replace it because you're already here. Now, keep in mind that pre-facelift 190Es and W124s had slightly different shifters, you can see, all right? Comparing to this, this one that was on my 190E. So this one will not work. It will still, it would still thread in and everything, but once you install it, it would be crooked like this, which would be really ugly, so I'm not gonna use this one. But just so you guys know, the differences between the pre-facelift and facelift model shifter knobs, uh, they are different. All right, guys, I cleaned everything as much as possible. Also cleaned this boot. As you can see, this boot is torn, but I don't have a new one in it right now, but I recommend for you guys to get one. This is the part number because you're gonna be doing this job. So I really, really recommend it. All right, guys, this is the best thing that you can do to lubricate something that you can't really get to. This is automatic trans fluid. So I'm gonna lubricate all these parts, okay? All these springs and you know, I'm gonna try to get some oil right there and into those uh, bushings. Of course, it's not gonna be super easy, but it's okay, there's gonna be some oil in there. It's not a big deal. Okay, just a little bit. That's good, okay. You can wipe off the excess if you want to. All right, but it's just a good idea to lubricate all that stuff. Guys, look at this thing. This is what I'm gonna be installing onto this car. Okay, this is a used shifter knob, but I really love this thing. It's in amazing shape. It's gonna go right here. So I'm about to start installing everything back and we'll see how it's gonna look. I'm super excited, guys. All right, guys, so everything is ready, looking nice, ready to be installed back onto this shifter assembly. At the end, make sure you tighten that nut and also put, I put some uh, silicone paste on the thread so they don't rust and then once you're done you're gonna go ahead and carefully grab this and slide it right over here on top make sure you're just being very careful so to install this you have to push that thing in clip all these things in all these three clips have to be clipped the rear one is in now I'm gonna be pressing this one and that one in okay there you guys have it and there she is oh i can't put it back in because i well once i install everything um the clip and uh, we can i'll show you the final results but there you guys have it i mean i'm pretty happy about this thing it looks so nice I really love this thing so much and uh, yeah, right now I just have to install that panel back on and we'll be good to go guys. It's super exciting. All right guys, so I'm almost done installing the 
uh, wood trim piece and uh, the shifter and also this trim. I'm about to show you how to install that. But uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know why, but uh, it took me like two hours because I was struggling with this shifter wood trim piece uh, because I wasn't sure how to actually like install it. And I'll show you what I mean and where I was struggling. Uh, so anyways, um, as you can see, the shifter is right now pretty much all flush and everything, okay? Like right here and stuff like that. The only part uh, that I was struggling with is, and I wasn't sure what's going on and why it's like that, but uh, you know, I started, I clipped these two um, uh, corners first, this one and that one, and then I had a problem with this one. It was just like sticking out and I wasn't sure what's going on and why it's like that, you know? So I removed, uh, you know, all the connectors again and tried to like re reposition all the wires because I thought maybe the wires were in a way or something like that. So anyways, um, eventually what I figured out is I had to grab this tool, plastic tool, and I carefully had to go here like this, and I had to carefully um, like pry it like this and just push down with this tool on this uh, wood trim piece, the same thing on that side. Uh, because otherwise what I had going on is that uh, there was so much like pressure right here that it would keep the, these two ends uh, popped out which was actually not nice and I didn't like that so uh, anyways right now we're gonna go ahead and install this trim and we're gonna be done so this goes like so and uh, when you're doing this job just be very patient and careful okay with all the plastics and things like that don't damage anything all right Almost. There you go. And now let's go ahead and check everything. Look at that. Amazing. Everything works nice. Awesome.